Well, it's called Pulp Fiction Coffee Shop, and here's some great examples of some pulp mm -hmm. uh, novels. You've got Run Tough, Run Hard, a high-voltage story of violence and vice among overprivileged teenagers, <laughs> and love so wild, she lived too hard, and he loved too well. So, so tell me, I mean, people see Pulp Fiction, and, yeah. and they think of the movie by the same name, but, but this predates that by a long way. Yes, during the war years, there was a, a shortage of quality paper, and they started using real cheap paper. Uh, hence the name pulp, just means cheap paper. M many of these uh, novels are quite trashy, actually. It's the hook is the image. Uh, having said that, I mean uh, Steinbeck, Hemingway. You can get some of the classics in, and they're affordable. Uh, most of these are in that two to twelve dollar range. So that's uh, it. It did the whole the whole genre. It's and you have an incredible collection of of pulp and. And and the image on them is just mm -hmm. is just incredible. Things like these, the, this poster and the, and mm -hmm. the signs out front. Mm -hmm. So, what's the big attraction for you for pulp? Like, what draws you, draws you to that? Yeah, just just the image. Yeah, yeah, the, the cover art. I haven't uh, haven't read many of them, but uh, many of them aren't worth reading. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, but and uh, these are the type of thing that you would find in a in a truck stop or drugstore, and uh, and when you find them in really nice shape, it's, it's quite rare because uh, they weren't intended to last. Uh, people would read them and pitch them in the garbage can. Or, you know, so when you find one in really good shape, it's, it's quite a find, yeah. So what made you want to set this up in Kelowna? It seems like it's a bit maybe over the top for Kelowna. Well, it's, it's the sort of thing you expect to find in Chicago, New York, L.A., but I don't want to live there. I want to live here. And, uh, and that's why I wanted to incorporate the uh, coffee shop with the 50s music and to to get the get the people in because I know that this is not for everybody in in a relatively small population, and uh, also I think young people are starting to come downtown, the cord downtown more and more. So, yeah, we should talk about that a little bit too because you've got lots of activities in the coffee shop. Yes, we have uh, poetry readings uh, twice a month. Uh, we have a, a theater group here. Uh, the third Tuesday of every month. And open late, and it's hard sometimes to find a coffee shop that's well, open late downtown. Well, there's so few things to do on a Sunday, especially off season. So uh, I, I kind of wondered if Sunday uh, was, you know, if we should bother. It's ended up to be one of our best days. I guess there's so little to do in the off season that uh, Sundays are good. Yeah. And, and you could always come in and pick up, uh, you know, and love so wild, <laughs> yeah, and have a too. coffee, and you know, I can't decide which one to read first. <laughs> yeah.